The RTX 3060 Ti is a pretty good value card at stock, but oh boy, if it gets better with a good undervolt. So welcome back at the Motion PSUs with the full RTX 5060 Ti undervolting guide. Now this is gonna work both for the 8 gigabytes and 16 gigabyte model. Today we have a 16 gigabyte model over here, but it's the same. And same thing today here, we have a gigabyte OC white Eagle model but it's gonna work for every single card. So from the cheapest, from the absolute worst, most unknown, like colorful brand card, all the way up to the best card out there, even uh, Strix or how they call them nowadays, Asus ROG Astral, I suppose. They're all the same. And uh, for all of them, we're gonna use MSI Afterburner and Heaven Benchmark. Now the link to both is gonna be down below in the description. I'm gonna be using the stable version, but if you're using the beta version to unlock a bit of extra memory clock, it's gonna be the same settings. But if you want to cross-reference the UI, you can take a look at my RTX 5070 Ti undervolting video, just to make sure. I'm also gonna have a full overclocking guide if you only care about performance, but with this video, you're gonna get more performance, lower temperature, lower power consumption, lower noise, and even fix the coil wind in some models. So with that said, let's get started. But before, the only thing I ask on this channel is I'm trying to cover every single CPU and GPU on the market to give you guys tutorials. So if after you watch the video, if the video was helpful, if you could drop a like and subscribe, it would help me a lot in doing that. So with that said, let's actually get started. So with the two software downloaded, let's get started. Now, first of all, you want to open up Heaven Benchmark. And now you want to run it with these settings. So quality on ultra, tessellation on extreme, anti-aliasing on X8, and resolution on 2560 by 1440, even if you have a 1080p monitor. Now run it, and you now want to get in overlay MSI Afterburner. So for that, just search Afterburner by pressing the Windows key and open it up. Now, if you do have two GPUs, for example, if you have uh, integrated Radeon graphics, make sure you click here and select the appropriate one, which is going to be the 5060 Ti over here. Now, I'm gonna first of all give you guys the first preset, which is the most balanced one. It's gonna give you slightly better than stock performance, improving the frame times while reducing your temperature, noise, etc. It's gonna be the most balanced, the best one for most of you. And if you don't have time to waste, you can just copy it, close the video, drop a like and subscribe and be happy. If you want to stay, I'm gonna then share some more advanced profiles for more performance, more efficiency, or how you can improve it for yourself. So with that said, first thing you want to do, is unlock this power limit slider, but don't worry, we're not gonna increase power. Now click on Curve Editor over here, bring the curve up, and you now wanna go ahead and grab the 900 millivolt voltage point over here, find it, click on it, now hold Shift and bring the whole curve up until on the left you read 2750. Okay, now it can be slightly lower. For example, for me, it's 2744. It's the same, it doesn't matter, okay? Now you wanna release it, release Shift, click on the void, and now hold Shift and select the rightmost part of the curve. At this point, you want to click on a random point on the rightmost part of the curve and flatten it out. You then wanna hit Apply and uh, by double clicking you can deselect the curve and as you can see we are now running exactly at the point we wanted over there at this point you want to go on the memory clock and just unlock it all the way up to 2000 this is going to work on every single card out there even the worst hit apply and we are now running with our undervolt concluded now how do we save this to have it always with us well you close over here you go over here on save you click on one, you then click on one again, you click apply, you then click over here on the Windows icon, you go into settings, start with Windows, start minimized, you then wanna hit apply, hit okay, and you can now minimize this one as well, and go play your games. So in case you just wanted this, again, remember your promise, drop a like and subscribe, but if you want to stay, here are a lot more info. So if you're actually lucky with your silicon, you can actually get quite a bit higher, even at this voltage point. So I've, have, I've had cars that go absolutely fine, all the way up to 2850, even 2900 at 900 millivolt. So how you do that is the same procedure. So you click here to reset, 
you unlock the power limit, you go over here, grab the 900, hold shift, bring it all the way up to the desired clock, which again, the maximum is gonna be 2900. I have not had a single card do more than 2900, okay? But again, if you want to try something a bit more aggressive, try 2850, see if you're lucky. So for example, 2845, click on the void, select the right part, flatten it out, put 2000 here and hit apply. Now, of course, every single thing you do, you want to test properly in gaming, not with Heaven Benchmark, and take your time, okay? It's because the first preset is going to work for everyone, but the next ones you still need to test all the time. With that said, this is a way in which you can extract free performance out of the first preset, but we also have the performance preset where we don't really care about our temperature. We're still going to get our gains by undervolting, but we're basically running an undervolt plus overclock and actually getting quite a bit more performance. So how do we do that is quite simple. The voltage point is going to be the 975 one. But if we look at the slope of the curve, you can see it changing at 1000. So 1000 is also going to be a possible point. But let's do 975 first. So with 975, you want to hold shift and bring it all the way up until 2900 over here. Now, this is going to work for literally every single one of you, okay? So 2900, and then you flatten it out and max this out and hit apply and also max out the power limit. I forgot. So this is going to work for every single one of you in case you want more performance. But listen, most cars are going to be able to do actually at 975, 3000. And uh, some are actually going to go higher as well. So 3000 is going to work for every single one of you guys, as you can see, just flatten it out. 2000 unlocked power limit and apply so this is good but if you have a lucky card you can do 3100 absolutely fine however if you are not as lucky and you still want even more performance then the 1000 millivolt voltage point is for you so this one you want to hold shift and bring it all the way up to 3100 again if you're a normal person 3100 flatten it out Come on, guys, you know it better than me. 2,000, unlock it here, and you're done. At 1,000, I find you can easily do 3,200 with a bit of luck, okay? So that's the maximum for the performance. If you get 1,000, 3,200, plus 2,000 here, or of course, if you have the memory unlocked, plus 3,000 here, you're maxing out your card and getting quite a big performance increase. However, not all of you want performance. So in case you want efficiency, Here's how you get it. Usually I've been recommending the 875 millivolt voltage point over here for efficiency on the 5000 series cards. And this is still valid at around 2.6 gigahertz. So at around the 2600 megahertz point, but I find on this card you can go a bit higher. So I find 2650 is where it's at. And if you're a bit lucky, all the way up to 2700 can work no problem. And again, this is what I've been recommending before. Still give it the plus 2000 memory, it's pre performance, and still unlock the power limit. This is going to work for you guys. However, I found just on the 5060 Ti, we have another voltage point, which you can see clearly by the slope of the curve. And it's this one over here. You can see the jump. This is the 845 millivolt voltage point. Now, if your curve jumps, it's going to be maybe one or two points to the left or to the right. But this one is the 845 at 2450 voltage point. Now you're losing performance by a lot at this point. However, you are dramatically decreasing your power consumption. This card could run on a 300 watt PSU if this is what you're doing easily. Okay. And of course, max the memory clock, max out the power limit and you're good. Even here, I found you can do easily 2500. Also, in some cards, you will have your actual clock not reaching what you set. If that happens, it can help you if you unlock voltage monitoring and voltage control. It will reset after burner, which you may have to grab from down here. But on some cards, it's going to help dramatically with that. On some cards, it's not. But you know, you may want to try that out if you're not getting the clocks you want. 
And with even this said, we covered all the possible scenarios. And I want to thank you guys for sticking around until the end. And as usual, I also ask you guys, if you have any kind of issues, please drop a comment down below. I try to read them all and really want to help you guys out. And also the people that follow my channel, I quite like them. And I think there's a lot of good people that help each other also. So with that said, again, drop a like and subscribe and see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.